with the Crusaders licking their wounds. Many expected Algirdas and Kestutis to finally clash over who should be the sole ruler of the country. Yet again, their unprecedented loyalty to one another kept the peace, allowing the brothers to focus on expanding their realm. To the southeast of Lithuania lay the city-states of the former Rus. The Tatar yoke weighed heavily on these once flourishing cities. One hundred years of exorbitant tributes to the Golden Horde had bled them dry, while the Khans built golden palaces on the banks of the Volga. With the Horde weakened by internal disputes, many of the oppressed cities welcomed the Lithuanians as liberators. But some were not so eager to simply replace one overlord with another. The inhabitants of the newly independent city of Kiev saw the Lithuanians as the greater threat and sought an alliance with their former Tatar masters. A move that Algirdas and Kestutis would not leave unanswered. The Lithuanian army marched south with determination, storming the principalities of Chernigov and Pereslavl in quick succession. The brothers aimed to face the Golden Horde and its allies on the steppe. A bold move, and a tremendous risk that none had dared to take before. Despite their internal squabbles, the battle-hardened Tatar-mounted archers were still considered invincible. But Algirdas and Kestutis were determined to prove otherwise. It's not far away, but its garrison refuses to hand over the city. Stay here in Smolensk, brother, to secure our advance. I will see to it that the I'm hoping so, Vihai, although if I get too tired, I might end up uh, finishing off a little bit earlier and then do it another time. It's the same thing I did with the Lords of the West missions. Please tell me I have plus four death. I do not have plus four death. At least it's Mongols and not uh, Tatars. See, that was my throw. This is my throw. <laughs> that was decent, yeah. All right, let's go. I think on the wrong control groups. Time to put them under new management. The enemy. I think I should probably micro this half decently. Not lose too many units. Okay, so... Oh. I have an ugly shot, that's fine. That cleans them out. Do I get a town center? The residents of Kiev have surrendered, leaving the city in our hands. Time is lost. We must strike quickly. If I get town center, I'm happy. I need to defeat three Golden Horde armies, okay. I can't train more villagers, oh that's such a debate. Where are all the other villagers then? Can I make fishing ships? Okay, I can at least make fishing ships. 
Although I kind of need to make these. Yeah, there's one of the villagers, there's another top full of them. Do not worry about supplies, Algadas. I will instruct my laborers to procure whatever is necessary to keep the flame of war. I'm thinking burning. I put a castle in both Just bar bases. Lords, raiders away from us. The Sitar Horde, the Kipchak Horde, everyone's a Horde. Oh, I was gonna build that with him, yeah, that's right. Take what I can spare. I hope it is enough for now. Could do with more, but be fine. Question is, do I put a castle in my base first or his base first? Let me just send one villager up to build up. Try and see if there's anything we can do with these in the meantime. Oh, extra bills, nice. Well, these can be the villagers that I'll send to do that with that. Get a little more fishing eco going. Now I'm thinking I should have built the castle here first. Yep, it's a castle. Oh, I have to they, each of these are considered an army. Okay, I see what it means now. I was confused for a sec. I think it's probably easier for me to go wing to saw again, but this time there's an actual reason behind it. Because I don't have access to whatever food I want. Uh, so to whatever gold I want, I have to wait for my ally to give me gold for a lot of it. Tell me which resources you need the most, and I will do my best to gather them. How do I tell him what resources objectives to have? Ooh, okay, five. Gold, please. I will try to fulfill your wishes, Hey Anna, how's work going? I hope they still give me res other resources as well, but like they focus on the one I want. <laughs> the conic. <laughs> what I think of you. <laughs> My sheep. Not laming if it's the AI. <laughs> oh god. Not him getting clapped here a little bit. Oh come on. Oh, looks like I need a garrison here real quick. Oh, he's gonna try and steal all of my sheep. <gasps> we accidentally killed my own thing here. I mean, I wasn't gonna use these for a long time anyway, it's fine. That was the gold up here, it was here, right? There we go. Okay, so we're getting winged to saw. Can 
Can I make more dogs? I can. Hey, Mr. Deeper. Hey, Mr. Deeper. Oh my god, this micro. Yeah, come on, whack him. Okay, they sound like psycho faster than Only one point we'll have to do? Oh, you do your registration level. Oh, that's really cool. Must be kind of rewarding. To help people like that. Don't attack my poor fishing ships. Oh, yeah, nothing to see here. See you later. Thanks so much for stopping by again. If we drive away this blight, we could establish a trade route and send our merchant vessels to Smolensk. Aha. Da, 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 da. But now it's giving me like hardly any food. Ay ay ay. Make four traps. Probably destroy the docks on land if I'm 100% honest. Haha. <laughs> Micro around just to annoy the living shit out of them. To make sure I don't lose track of him at any point. I have a little wood spare if I need to put some fish traps down. Okay, so that's expensive. I don't want to lose those. I kind of don't need as much gold anymore. Then we'll get them to give me food. Food. You need more food supplies. Good. I will instruct my men to gather more food. This is another castle over here. Begin. <laughs> I think we've upset them. Okay, I think we can soon start training gold units. Oh, and they're Cuban, so they're just gonna run away constantly. Get Bracer for our buildings. Don't kill my villager, please. Okay, yeah, looks like he's fine. <laughs> okay, that's number one done. Good.
Are leeches the same speed as Cavalier? into our steps will earn nothing but a bloody death <laughs> so dramatic I hope the reward for destroying his doctors decent Scouts just discovered that three bays command the Golden Horde's forces. Slaying these commanders will throw their armies into disarray and make the fight much easier. Oh, that's a lot of army. Got a couple of leaders over here. Let's get rid of all of these. That's actually really bad. <laughs> we sank all of the pirate ships and destroyed their hideouts. Our boats can now safely navigate the river. Make good use of these resources. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm saving those. You can save the second castle at least. I can just rebuild the first one. Oh, actually, I keep forgetting I have another one in here. just build it right back in the same spot actually you know what we can build it in a better spot than this we can use it to capture this gold are we winning i think we're winning can't really tell half the time and if we are losing it's the slowest loss ever honestly i'm tempted to train a shit ton of ca because i don't have the res to try anything but gold on wood units anyway. Okay, another couple of traps maybe. You would have put with 15 fishing ships. I'd have some food income. Make a decent number of trade cards. Kytos! <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting those five subs, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. It's amazing. Hey, Jessica, how are you? I remember when I like, got a sub enjoys the emote. Love how I'm just stealing some of this stone. Our stone. <laughs> it's like the um the communist meme. Our resources. <laughs> oh, you're so dead. Let's not train them from these ones. Make good use of hey, good, good to hear you. Yeah, subs are expensive, <laughs> but I really appreciate it either way. It's really generous of you to give. Literally even one is really generous to me. 
But five is amazing. Yeah. Wave 75 of the Keshik invasion. I'm not even using elites, so that's just pricey. I'm gonna build a castle over here. I'll just send them back to gold afterwards. There's a lot of trainer from here, I gotta keep forgetting. Demetrius is his name. Demetrius is dead. Without their prince, the Tatar division of the Golden Horde will be a mere shadow of its former self. Oh, let's push into the Tatar horde from here. And that means we can push into the Kipchak horde as well. Oh, we might need a few here. The Golden Horde is ravaging my camp. I urgently need your help, brother. Garrison your bills in the castles I made. Oh my god. Not rocket science. Didn't make castles because I trusted you to not screw us up. <laughs> The map looks like it really does, right? I feel like this could have been done on a smaller map without taking anything away from the game in the slightest. At least we have gold for days. I need a market so I can trade resources as needed. Make good use of these resources. And they resign now. Paladin as well. Well, like maybe just getting more leaders would be better, actually. Uh, let's get guilds. <laughs> They've ruined the food price. AI always ruins the food price. I have no idea how they manage it. Maybe without mods. I, I only use a very cup, very, very few mods, and the ones I use, I use because I like them. Oh dear, that's class is very much going now. Try and slap the trap, maybe. Exactly, Zab, it's all about you. Where is my food? Oh. Okay, we got rid of that. That's good. Run, Bill, run. Wish I could train extra villagers for this. Okay. Oh, they're resigning at that moment. Perfect. One of the Golden Horde's armies has been crashed. Yeah, let's go to the Kipchak board to protect. The will be in our hands. Uh, is it Al Kestusis? We'll protect him first, and then we'll go and make army for ourselves. Oh, there they are.
No one likes us. Who's us? They have an impromptu almost 12 hour stream. That's fine. Uh, let's just make you make fish traps because you're kind of in the way. Hey, let's make more castles. Mm. Are leaders heavy on food? They are. I think it's actually time to take Paladin just so it's easier on my food economy. Or lack thereof, I should say. So I gotta place these castles there really early in. Uh, that's... Oh, I can't even... Like, justify buying that is painful. The Golden Horde is ravaging my camps. I urgently need your help, brother. These people will work for you. Oh, brother. yay, more bills I could do with those. Maybe I need to make more fishing ships to make fish traps. Okay, that's the one done. <laughs> I love when the mills are just like, yes, build it right back in the same spot, right the second. These idiots do it. Okay, just go for the TC first. Oh my god, there's another two TCs. More Paladino! Wish I'd just gone full CA though, honestly, with the resources I'm floating here. They should resign off and get rid of this castle, and then it's about going to the Bulga port. Which is somewhere over here, I'm guessing? I haven't really found much out about them. Okay, resign, please. Okay, that no. Two of the Golden Horde's armies are shattered. Only one remains. I feel like I'm going a little crazy at this point. Letus used to be like 50 food, right? Or is that the Keshik I'm thinking of? Speaking. Oh, there's the first DC we can find. 
Those traps are gonna take forever to get here. Seeing as I got lots of wood and gold, I might as well make some extra traps, alright? They even have it. They don't even have imp upgrades. I was thinking, like, why am I melting them? I don't even get blast furnace anymore. You can attack from there. You just did freaking things. The fishing plan didn't really work as I intended it though. Trebs can't path around, so they're going the long way around. It would be interesting to have a mission like this in co-op as well. Having one ally can not be able to make military units and the other one uh, having to do all the military. But having a shared pot limit or something like that. So you have to like balance your economy as best you can between the two of you. I think I just instinctively queued up more winged hussar. Is there anything else to destroy? I think they're deleting buildings now, which is usually the sign of the dumb. But maybe not. Nope, they're still training units. We must have- oh, there's a castle over that's why. I lost a lot of bills somewhere. I have no idea where I lost them though. They would, they'll be quickly replaced by military. Be the end of this mission. How on earth did the Lithuanians overcome our invincible horse archers? Magic! <laughs> I got a little bit obsessed with the AE2 campaign. <laughs> Just a little bit. I kind of want to complete all of them. We often call members of the Golden Horde Tatars, but 
In reality, the Horde consists of a multitude of Turkic peoples. Among its ranks are flail-swinging riders from Volga, Bulgaria, Cumans from the Kipchok steppe, and Mongols from Siberia. Such a diverse crowd of peoples and cultures, all united in humiliating defeat at the hands of Algirdas. When the Lithuanian army moved south, crossing the Dnieper into Podolia, the bays of the Golden Horde scrambled to stop them. But it was to no avail. Armed with spears and swords, the Lithuanian soldiers broke the front lines of the Horde. The Tatars could not hold their formations and retreated in disarray, leaving their Khan no choice but to flee to the Crimea. The blood of horses and warriors slain by blade and arrow colored the dry grass of the steppe red. Algirdas's decisive victory established the Grand Duchy of Lithuania as a major power, bringing him both new friends and enemies.